Gracie, are you helping Daddy vacuum? Gracie, do you like vacuuming with Daddy? Daddy is leaving for work and Gracie is doing a running hug. Gracie, can you run to Daddy? Okay, Gracie, you want a running hug? I think Gracie likes it. Good morning. It's Thursday morning and Mary had her doctor's appointment this morning for her three-year-old physical. I got a poke. You, what happened to you? I got a poke. You got a poke. What were they, why'd they poke you? Because I, they poked me. They poked you? They were checking your lead, right? To make sure you've been eating well? Did it hurt? No. Now, Mary got a sticker, and she got a sticker for Lydia too. And Lydia gave me her sticker. Check that out. Now, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Mary is in the 99th percentile for her height. So, some of you have commented how tall she is. Well, she is very tall. She's more like a four or five year old. You can go outside. You want to go on the swing? So, I think today I saw something on the Encouraging Home. Let's see. What is Jim Emile's Encouraging book? Encouraging Homemaker? Is it the her? Yeah, I think it's the Encouraging Homemaker. Some of you guys watch her. She did a video. It wasn't a sole video, but it was part of her one of her other videos. Um, and she made rice in the crock pot. And I went, oh, like that was just so brilliant. So I think I'm going to try doing that today because it's super hot here. It's going to be in the mid 90s, extremely humid. I'm going to try to keep the stove from heating up. So I think we're going to put. Um, the rice in the crock pot and see how it comes out. I mean, I'm I'm always willing to try anything at least one time, and if this works, and we're you know, putting the crock pot outside. Yes, the crock so pot's going to cook on the front. It doesn't pot. go inside. <laughs> right, we're going it. We can put in room air conditioners if we want, but this is only a really small stretch of hot weather, and if we can just keep it cool during the daytime and then at nighttime blow in the cold air during the evening hours, you know, it seems to work really well and it's much more comfortable that way. So that's what we're go our goal is, but if it gets too unbearable, Art's going to run, run up and grab the air conditioners and put them in. He's a good husband, you know. The rice is all in the crock pot, and I'm going to go put it on the front porch and cook it for, I don't know, I'm gonna put that in low and cook it for a while and we'll see how it comes out. All right, this is where we put the rice, right out the front door. We moved our little table over here. It's in the pot, we'll keep it closed. It's gonna just cook away in the hot outside. I'm browning the chicken, one piece is done. And then we're gonna just do some cream of mushroom soup or cream of chicken soup, a little bit of white wine, salt and pepper, and rosemary. To the skillet, that I pulled the chicken out of. There's the chicken right there. I'm gonna add just a little bit of white cooking wine to deglaze the pan. Woo! And all that alcohol will just cook off. But now I'm gonna add just a can of cream of chicken soup. You can use cream of mushroom, pretty much cream of celery, any of those type of soups that you want to. Mix that all in. On top of the chicken, I'm just going to sprinkle some, actually, black pepper, a little bit of paprika, thyme, garlic powder, some rosemary, and then some salt. I just poured the sauce over the chicken, and I'm just going to cook this on low, but I want to check the temperature a couple times. Hot pots are notorious for making your chicken dried out, and I do not like crock pot chicken that's dried out. It's just tough and very unflavorful. So I'm going to keep an eye on this, but we're going to just put it back out on the front porch with the pot of rice and let this cook outside and hopefully keep my kitchen cool for the rest of this day. I think grease is up. Let's see. Are you up? Hi. How are you? Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Would you like to get up? Can you say up, please? No. Please. Please, all right. You need to go poop? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Ugh. Let's go in the potty. Gracie, these are for you. You did such a good job going poop in the potty. Did she go poop? Good job. Did Gracie go poopy? She did. Isn't that fabulous? Gracie. That's so good. I am so glad that we caught that in the toilet and not her diaper. And she's making 
much better strides with the potty training. She's still having accidents, but I would expect that at this age. But on the whole, she's doing really, really well. Here is my slow cooker cooking station. I've got my rice going in here. It looks like I need to stir it. And then I've got my chicken going in here. We've got chicken food. I have to come to the outdoors. Oh, it smells good right by the front door. Come on. Come on, Julie. I'm so glad this is outside and not inside my house. It That's is toasty. Oh, look at the rice. Now, I forgot to stir this, but we'll give it a stir. Oops, a ton of rice. Okay. Look at that. Now, Mrs. A friend of mine said that you need to put oil or butter on the top. So I think I'm going to do that and then turn. Oh, no, we can't see anything. Woo, hoo, 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 the viewers can't see anything. Steamed up the window. Okay, so, Peter, could you go grab me um, some butter on the counter, please? Thank you. All right, and now we got to check the chicken, except I forgot a... Can I hold that? No, I think I can hold it. Whoa, if I'm quick. Whoop, whoop. Okay, now I forgot to check the chicken too because I fell asleep on the couch. Let's see if it's done. Oh yeah, it's done. Okay, it's gonna be overcooked. Turn it off. I don't think I've ever been so happy to go to the post office in my life. That's because the car has air conditioning. <laughs> Daddy's being awfully silent over there. Why am I silent? <laughs> because he doesn't like air conditioning. I told all the kids, quick, hurry up in the car. It's gonna only be the cool place around for a little while. It's actually only 91 or 92 out, except it's so humid, it feels well over 100. So we're gonna enjoy our little um, jaunt to the post office and some air conditioning for a little while. And for any of you who think that Art is a bad husband for not putting in the air conditioner, or that I'm too cheap to put it in, it's more like... You're too cheap to put it in. I'm too cheap to put it in. I did. And I brought the air conditioner downstairs. Yeah, I was the beginning going of to July. Put it in. Yes, I was going to put it in, and then Janelle didn't want me to, so it sat in the landing for, what, three or four weeks. And then finally I said, well, no sense in leaving it there, so I'm putting it back upstairs. So it is of our own doing. It is not any type of anything else except we've had it, so the weather has not been this hot, and it usually cools off enough at night that we don't really need it. We just have shut all the shades, shut the windows early in the morning, keep the cool in, keep the cool in, the heat out, and it works pretty efficiently. But on days like today, it is a little toasty, and that's just how it is. Our house was built in 1901, and that's before they had air conditioners. And uh, so they built a nine foot ceiling in the downstairs. So it, it does help a lot. And um, really, we don't get, usually get that hot in our house. Yeah. When it is hot, the fan, turn the fan on in the window at night, and then close the windows in the day, usually it's fine. It stays right around 80. I think it's 81 in my room, and that's the room that gets most of the sun. And, you know, like Art said, it's, with a fan, it's not unbearable. It's just a little on the toasty side. We have eight packages of our Mary Kay to send out today, so it's another good day. Two things, something for the boys, I guess, and... <laughs> I know, this, this one's for Lydia. Yay. Lydia! Who's that from? And me. I think it's from Grandma. Grandma. Dear Lydia, here are some leaves to color for the fall. Cut them out and decorate them. Love, Grandma. See, I told you it was from Grandma. Somebody reached out to me and asked if we would be interested in featuring Creation Crate monthly subscription boxes now you guys have seen ipsy boxes you've seen the fab fit fun boxes these subscription boxes come every month well creation crate is the same idea behind those monthly subscription boxes except it's for educational purposes in this case it's going to be for more for the older children so go ahead and open it up guys see uh, and the projects is, uh, change every month it looks and like let's see what this project is it says Creation Crate building the makers of tomorrow. So we'll yes. open this up. Let's open it up. Let's see what we're supposed to be building this month. Oh, oh. It's oh. called a mood lamp. And they give you everything you need to build your very own mood lamp. I wonder if we can change it. I don't know. 
booklet. All right, and this must be the instruction bread booklet. Board. This is called a breadboard. Okay, so they give you the parts list of everything that should be in there. Separate and how separate we're gonna do it. Mommy, look they talk stickers. about the hardware, Mommy, then stickers. how it works. Mommy, stickers. And then they talk about the programming, which is probably more applicable to you, John, because I'm clueless to that part of the I'm not sure good at programming. Oh, yeah. Exercises, and you get to finish up the project. This looks really oh, interesting. Hook it up to a computer. Right. So it's programming, computer programming, too. Oh, I am not good at com computer programming. Well, I think what's it's, Lydia? Cool, it's gonna help you out. What's Lydia interested in? Oh, the stickers. Let's put everything back in the box. We wanna keep this until we do the project together. This is probably an afternoon project for the three of you guys, when the little girls are napping, when we're not gonna be distracted. What do you think, John? I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> no. I think this is gonna be a very good learning exercise for you. Yeah, but I have absolutely no clue how to do this. Well, that's how you learn. That's right. No. Instructions. Oh, tell you, John. Why don't you and Lydia look together? You don't have to look all alone. There you go. Mommy. Looks like John likes the creation crate. Look at Mary reading her book in the box. It's pretty cozy. Yes, it does. Why do you need expensive furniture and chairs for kids when boxes are just fine? Oh, and a, and a laundry basket. <laughs> the chicken looks delicious. Yes. And other than the rice being a partial failure because I cooked it with too much rice. The chicken looks delicious. It may have dried out a little bit because I fell asleep when it was cooking. But we'll see how it is. There's lots of juice in the bottom there that we're going to put over the sticky rice. We're going to work on the tractor. I have to push yeah, it back. Yeah, I'll help you push. It's a little okay. heavy. Oh, there we go. We are just getting ready. Daddy put the, so the lock go? clip in the vise. So now he is going to attach the little cap then he's going to add the little rock lock snap ring into it and then we'll see if it works he's attaching that put the that second to the last piece he's attaching the last piece okay, let's we'll put the little clip on there the nice thing about being a band instrument repairman is you have all kinds of cool tools and i'm hoping one of these will work for the job that i need it to do mm -hmm. we need to get this little ring pushed down into the slot, but without losing it, because it wants to sn it wants to snap off and go somewhere else. Let's see if I can get that up there. Peter, here's a helicopter. He's excited about seeing. There it is. He had a gun sticking out. Yeah, out the door. Oh, cool. It's probably a practice gun. My dent ball did the trick. <laughs> it's, a, it's a threaded dent ball. You put it on the end of a rod, you use it to push in, uh, dents out of instruments, and it fit on there perfectly uh, in order to push that little ring in there. I'm just pulling up hard on that to see if it will come off. I don't think it's going to. It feels like it's in there pretty good. Daddy, can I, can I hit the, can I hit the whatever it's called? Uh, when it... The only thing is, it doesn't go up very far. I wonder if I put it on upside down. I, I'm thinking it's upside down. Daddy accidentally put on the gear yeah. backwards. Yeah, the gear is upside down. Look at the Warrens, Wars, Warrens. You see, you okay. figured out it didn't go up far enough. Yeah, it doesn't go up far enough. We're gonna have to take that wheel off and turn it around. Wheels, whatever it is. Yeah, turn it around. I think that's the way it's supposed to go. We'll try it again. Now that I'm an expert at it, well, I don't know if I'm an expert, that's but I've done it before. But the little clamp uh, popped off again, so I'm thinking we might need a new spring here, or a clamp here. Janelle and the kids are chilling out watching the Olympics, but Janelle is looking around her little uh, TV antenna tower. Here's our TV antenna. It broke a while back, so we had to put some uh, 
uh, a coat hanger on it. And it has to be like right here in our living room in order for it to work. Tonight we're watching the, uh, the women's ela elastics. <laughs> <laughs> They are like elastic rubber bands, but the women's gymnastics. And we were, I was telling Jeremy, I remember John was born September 8th, and he was two full weeks early, but it was hot weather in the middle of August like this, and my parents had loaned me a TV to put in our bedroom at our old house. It was so hot, and they were at nighttime, so the best Olympics came on like at 10 or 11 at night, and so I couldn't sleep because I was having all this prodromal labor. And Charity kept getting up, and we brought her in front of the gymnastics, and the girls are doing the tumbles and the floor exercise, and Charity was just hysterically laughing as a baby. This <laughs> was so funny. It was like the highlight of our Olympics. Good night. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, my wife loves me very much, but there's one thing about me that really annoys her, and what's that? He always messes up the TV signal. I don't know how he does it, but walking in and out, we're trying to watch the best of Michael Phelps, and he walks through, and the signal goes, and nothing. Does it do that for anybody else? It goes predominantly you. Probably that's because you're the one moving around. Yes. Totally. You know, and the kids are always stuck here with me. But, Thankfully, you don't watch TV very much. Right. Like, but. when you go upstairs and wander around, you mess up the signal, it's like wherever you go. I have that effect on electronics. Uh, a lot of times the computer doesn't work and then I have to say to Janelle, Janelle, what did I do wrong? And then she'll say, push this button and that button. And it's like the exact buttons I pushed. And I say, okay, I just need to walk away. You push those same buttons and I'm sure it'll work for yep. you. And sure enough, it almost always does.